Okay, here's the Woody so far. This is the 1930 Model A station wagon. And we needed to do some front end restoration here, so we knew there were a couple issues with the car. First of all, it's got the wrong engine. It's a 28 engine, as you can see. Let me get you down here a little ways. Because obviously, you've got a removable, if you can see that, I guess you can see it better here. We've got a uh, removable oil pump on the pans, and the engine number definitely tells us that this is a 28 block. So the 28 block has to go, even though it runs, and I do have a 30 block that's ready to re be rebuilt. And so that was one of the things we need to do. Plus, let's look back here at this cross member. The cross member is a 28, 29 because of the elevated radiator mount. You can tell right there, and that's got to go. Plus, it was uh, bolted in. And of course, you know those need to be riveted too. And the cross member is in pretty nice shape, but still got to go because we, we want to put a 30 radiator on it and it's not going to fit real well. Now, having a little bit of trouble finding a good 30, 31 cross member. So I've got this one here that needs a little bit of work. Somebody cut the front out here. Oh. Somebody cut the front out, I guess, to put a V8 engine in. So I'm going ahead and, and welding a piece in here. And I'm going to go ahead and get a flame on it and kind of kind of bend this over and get it welded in. And then we'll get it ground down and taken care of. Uh, filled, filled in the hole at the bottom a little bit. And did some welding and some basic fixes on it because, well, it's just, you know, 80, 80 years old. And it needs a little bit of help, so, but it is the correct cross member because you can see the radiator mount between the 3031 versus 2829. Let me get them both together here. You can see the difference. Let's see if that makes a difference here. Yeah, you can see that. So that's definitely something that's going on. Plus, we need to get it cleaned up, and you know, it definitely needs. Restoration. Now the interesting part is, I took a, a couple of the front. I took both the front wheels off, and I found out that the brakes are beautiful. And you can't see it right here, but both of them have the Rocky Mountain hubs. Maybe you can see it. The uh, you know the, the with the cooling slots in them. I guess that's what it is. Otherwise, that's where we're at so far. And I think what I want to do is, I want to make sure that uh, I'd like to start out with getting the first half, I guess, from cowl forward restored and frame cleaned off and suspension rebuilt, steering, and then I'll go ahead, take the cowl off, and then we'll uh, do a body kit on the back. And it does have some unusual steel doors, which I've never seen before. And these were equipped with the roll-up windows. As you can see, there's a winder. There's no glass left but it definitely fits the woody so I think these were some kind of an aftermarket but that's the inside still holding gas as you can see and that's where I'm at with this car right now the, the thing is here I need to get this cross member welded up ground down and then sandblasted and painted so we can go ahead and rivet back onto the frame and that's the big step here we'll get the frame cleaned up and there's kind of the goal right there. Now I'm not going to do the, the plum or the purple color. I'd definitely like to have the, uh, the sand, which if you look on the cowl, what do you see right there? Sand color. So this is definitely an original, as we've seen. And it's, the cowl is in great shape. I mean, it's just beautiful. There's no rust, nothing like that. So anyway, that's where I stand. If you have any questions or you need any pictures or anything or anything specific sent, why don't you drop me a line? I'll go ahead and do it. Thanks. Bye.